animation should be like cancelable. The one that drives me crazy is Spotify. If you want to view our stats on the Spotify podcasters, you open up the date input and you click on the back arrow to go back a month. But if I want to select three years worth of dates, I got to hit the back arrow 36 times to, mm, to go again. back for three years. <laughs> and what happens is I have to click the arrow and I have to wait until the animation finishes and then click it again. Because if I click it too quickly, it either breaks the entire thing at the reload the page or it just doesn't react to, to the click as well. So if there is an animation in flight and somebody hits that thing again, especially like you open something and you go, oh, I didn't mean to do that. And you quickly hit the, the close button. Yeah, that should react to the action immediately. I also have this on Instagram all the time where you ever accidentally open an ad on like an Instagram story. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what I do? I just, I quit the app. I'm just like, I'm, yeah, I'm sick I'm of this. Done. You know, right, it's yeah, such yeah. a flow breaker. I can watch an hour's <laughs> worth of stories and I accidentally touch an ad and it just vroom, opens like that in browser oh, web yeah. thing and you can't click X fast enough because the X is in the top left-hand corner. You know why I can't reach it with my thumb. I'm too lazy. I just, I quit the entire Close. app. I'm Screw done. It. And I hope that their stats show that I'm I'm doing that.